the formula of a compound can be quite simple. If one first determines the empirical formula of the compound. Hi, Mr. B here. In this video, I will explain how to determine the molecular formula of two classic compounds, ethylene glycol and caffeine, by using the empirical formula of each substance. to solve a classic practice problem. Consider the following. Ethylene glycol is composed of 38.7% carbon, 9.7% hydrogen, and 51.6% oxygen. Its molar mass is 62.1 grams per mole. And in this particular case, we're being asked to determine the empirical formula and the molecular formula. The first step in this process is to determine the empirical formula. To do so, simply follow these steps. The first step is to assume that there are 100 total grams of the compound on hand. If there are 100 total grams of the compound on hand, then of the 100, 38.7 grams is carbon. 9.7 grams is hydrogen. And 51.6 grams is oxygen. Since both an empirical formula and a molecular formula represents a ratio of moles of atoms, then the next step is to determine the number of moles. To do so, simply use the mole calculation, where moles are determined by dividing the given mass by the gram formula mass, or gram atomic mass in this case. 38.7 divided by 12 grams per mole, where the mass is located on the periodic table. 9.7 divided by 1 gram per mole. And 51.6 grams divided by 16 grams per mole. 38.7 grams divided by 12 grams per mole, where grams will cancel is equal to 3.2 mole. Obviously, 9.7 grams divided by 1 gram per mole is equal to 9.7 mole. And 51.6 grams divided by 16 grams per mole is equal to 3.2 moles. The next step in the process is to generate a molar ratio. To do so, simply divide by the smallest mole value. The smallest mole value will be 3.2 mole. Okay? 3.2 divided by 3.2 is equal to 1. So the ratio that we're generating will be 1. 9.7 by 3.2. 3, and 3.2 by 3.2, 1. So the ratio is 1 to 3 to 1. This ratio will now represent the subscripts in the empirical formula. So the empirical formula for this compound will be CH3 O. To determine the molecular formula of the compound, simply use the information provided in the practice problem, where we are told that the molecular mass of the molecular compound 
is actually 62.1 grams. So to determine the, form, the molecular formula, perform the following simple step. 62.1 gram per mole, G per mole, divided by the mass of the empirical formula. <coughs> 12 plus 3 is 15, plus 16 is 31. So the mass of the empirical formula, which is CH3O is 12 plus 3 plus 16, which is equal to 31 grams per mole. So we now divide the mass of the molecular formula by the mass of the empirical formula, we will, we will generate a factor, right? So 62.1 divided by 31, just 31, grams per mole, where the units will all cancel. So the factor will be approximately two. This factor is now used to calculate the molecular formula. To use the factor, simply multiply the subscripts in the empirical formula, which is CH3O, by a factor of 2. This will generate the following molecular formula. C2H6O2. So the molecular formula for the compound is C2H6O2. Classic problem. Caffeine contains 49.5% carbon, 5.15% hydrogen, 29.9% nitrogen, and 16.5% oxygen by mass. The molar mass of, the, of caffeine is 195 grams per mole. Let's first determine the empirical formula. 49. 0.5 grams over 12 grams per mole. 5.15 grams over 1 gram per mole. 28.9 grams over 14 grams per mole. And 16.5 grams over 16 grams per mole. 49.5 divided by 12 is equal to 4.13 mole. 5.15 divided by 1 is obviously equal to 5.15 mole. 28.9 divided by 14 is equal to 2.1 mole. And 16.5 and divided by 16 is equal to 1.03 mole. The next step is to divide by the smallest mole value, which will be 1.03. Dividing 4.13, 5.15, 2.1, and 1.03 by 1.03, which represents the smallest mole value, will generate the following ratio. 4 to 5 to 2 to 1. Of course, in each calculation, the number of moles will cancel. So the empirical formula for the compound caffeine will be C4 H5 N2 O. To determine the molecular formula, simply determine the mass of the empirical formula first, where the mass of the empirical formula is 97 grams. The mass of the molecular formula, which is 195 grams divided by the mass of the empirical formula, will generate a factor of 2. Distributing this factor through the empirical formula will generate the following molecular formula. C8H10N4O2.